Let me show you how to connect and operate the FPV Video Scrambler. The scrambling module and descrambling module are the same on the hardware. The bottom line here is the video input. The above cable is the ground wire of the video input. GND and CVBS video input. Then here is the power supply input, 5 minus 12 volt. This side is the video output. Video output to the video transmitter on the scrambler module and FPVS side, video output to the monitor on the descrambler module and ground receiver side. If you need to set the scrambling algorithm, you need to connect your computer via the USB to TTL serial port tool. This is the power supply. Ground wire. Ground wire and this. The positive pole of the power supply can be 5 minus 12 volts. This side. This is TX. TX is then connected to the RX of the serial port tool. This red one. This is RX. RX is connected to the TX of the serial port tool. And now. Insert the USB drive. Plug this in. Open the configuration software. Waiting connection. Then we read here that it is connected. Look here. Here is our scrambling algorithm. Then we can make changes here. You can change numbers like 3454. Just make the changes here. You can change numbers from 0 to 7679. Then write it here after the changes are made and it will be OK. This is how to change the scrambler algorithm. In the same way, you need to select the same algorithm on the descrambling module. Now I connected the scrambler module and descrambler module on the video transmitter and receiver. Look, this is a CVBS camera. Connect the composite video cable from the camera to the video input of the scrambler module. Here is CVBS video input. Pass the video scrambler module. Then this side is video output to the transmitter. Let's look at how the descrambler module is connected to the receiver and display. The video received by the wireless video receiver is output to the descrambling module. Output here. Input to video descrambler module. The video is descrambled by the algorithm here and the restored video can be displayed normally. Then video output to the monitor. Now I will demonstrate what the display will see if the receiver does not have a descrambler module and the transmitter has a scrambler. Disconnect the descrambler module. Then let's directly connect here. The FPV VRX receiver box is directly connected to the monitor. Look, the monitor, the screen shows stripes and the picture is not clear. Without adding this descrambler module, the video on the monitor is garbled. It can't be well showing. To achieve the purpose of hiding or locking FPV video.